Although it is really a subject of discussion among their peers and in society, men are not immune to gender-based violence as this social problem is also affecting them physically, emotionally and sexually. Such is the case of Noah Rusike from Epworth who spent a decade suffering at the hands of an abusive wife. Rusike eventually lost all his property and is now visually impaired after his wife struck him with a slasher on the eye. The abuse he went through has also had a psychological effect. I can do it in the auto fungo zura and go to the auto mona to find out if free. But this one can win now. In the end, I'm not this. Counselor and life coach Dr. Patience Itaiwobe highlighted that due to fear of stigmatization, men often find it difficult to seek assistance. Marriage counselor Pastor Gwendolyn Kanokanga says such revelations are a wake-up call for survivors of gender-based violence to get the necessary support before it is too late. As the world commemorates the 16 days of activism against gender-based violence, focus should also be on men as much as it is on their female counterparts amid revelations that a number of males are suffering in silence. First as Mkunguri says, ZBC News, Harare.